As requested, I put together some details for the next lore, and here you have it. This is the story of the Scions of Hourglass. The Scions of Hourglass refer to the name of a mysterious organization that exists in both the Alpha and Omega Earth. Their initial goal was to contain the discovery of Radianite from becoming public knowledge. However, their actual purpose for existing is not 100% clear yet, as we only have bits and pieces of knowledge. This organization is fairly spread out around the world, with several known operation bases in East Asia and Northwest Africa. Not to mention that they probably have many that are still unknown. The Hourglass hired trained assassins who they use to take out targets that don't align with their organization's goals. One of these assassins is Omen, who back at the time was in a human form and codenamed Ghost. Omen was given orders to seek out and eliminate Dr. Sabine Callis, the agent Viper, who used to work at Kingdom at the time and was a very successful scientist. She was conducting research and experiments on Radionite and the Hourglass, given their goals of containing Radionite, wanted her eliminated to stop any further advancements. I don't want to go too deep into this as it has more to do with Omen's lore rather than the signs of Hourglass, but in summary, Omen failed his mission at killing Viper and through a series of events, he became the shadowy figure we know today. I'll come back to Omen in just a sec. We have another agent in the Valorant Protocol who was hired by the Hourglass to assassinate a target. And this agent was Iso, who was given the task of eliminating Omen after attacking some members of Kingdom. Once Iso finishes off the members of Kingdom, he sends a message out saying that it's done. And then he got a message back saying that he has a new target, and that target is Omen. As we can see by the logo of the person sending him the message, Iso was employed by the Hourglass to carry out his missions and received orders to eliminate Omen. This was probably due to Omen failing his original mission and leaving the Hourglass to become part of the Valorant Protocol, alongside Viper, who was his initial target. Iso goes on to join the Valorant Protocol, but he doesn't disclose his true intentions. He's later presented with the opportunity to carry out his mission and kill Omen by shooting him in the back, but he hesitates and thinks otherwise. He then reveals to Omen his mission to have him killed by showing him his phone and walking out as Cypher stood the entire time watching, seemingly knowing his plan this whole time, but we don't have 100% confirmation on this. But then again, it's Cypher. This guy has cameras literally everywhere. He probably watches these guys sleep for all we know. After this takes place, Iso decides to work with the Valorant Protocol for real and helps them locate and attack one of Hourglass's bases in Jakarta, Indonesia, as seen in the Reckoning cinematic. Omen faces off with his old boss in the base and he nearly gets killed by some sort of device that takes away his Radiant abilities and can supposedly tear him apart. Straight to the point. <laughs> Always was your style. Sorry. We cannot have you vanishing again. Ghost. During this time, his old boss gives him vague comments about his past, referring to him by his old name Ghost, as he gets short flashbacks of his past. Again, I'm not going to go too into this because this is more specific to Omen's lore rather than Hourglass, so I'll leave that for a separate video. As Omen is about to be killed, Sova and Cypher work together to rescue him, while Iso is sitting in the helicopter baiting the team as a good duelist would. And Omen is finally released from the device's power, where he then leaps forward and pushes his old boss out the window, making him fall to his death. Or that's what it seems like at least. We now move on to Edinburgh, Scotland, where Omen finds the newest agent, Clove, as he's taking a break from the protocol upon remembering some of his past life, as noted in the Reckoning cinematic. He finds a journal with Hourglass's symbol on it as well, as he's attacked by the organization. During this time, he was unable to protect Clove, and the organization took Clove's body away with them on their boat. However, given that Clove is immortal, they could hear the discussions of the Hourglass members and noted that they were talking about returning the journal back to its rightful place in the Elder Grotto. Hey, Brimstone! I've been helping Cypher with the journal, I. 
the one Hourglass tried to steal. There were some bits in there he couldn't figure out. Something about a secret cavern or some such. And that got me thinking about some things those Hourglass numpties let slip when they hauled me aboard their wee little boat. You'd be amazed at what some people say around a dead body. Yapping on and on about bringing the journal back to its rightful place in the Elder Grotto. You see where I'm going with this? The journal's talking about an hourglass base. A special one, too. Sai's getting the ship's navigation logs. We'll suss it out. Just you wait. It seems like this journal contains secrets about one of Hourglass's bases and probably a lot more about the organization as well. Clove mentions that Cypher is currently running through navigation logs in order to help them pinpoint the exact location of the secret base. Given how we have this voicemail from Clove talking about a grotto, this player card of Sage descending down into some sort of cavern, this leaked image of a new map, we can expect the next competitive map that's coming out soon to take place in one of Hourglass's bases, particularly one that's underground in some sort of cave. Hopefully there, we'll discover plenty more hints and new information about the organization as the lore continues to be revealed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Scions of Hourglass. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the organization and theories that you guys have. If you guys want, I can make a video just going through the comments and highlighting the most liked theories or ones that I find the most interesting. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and feel free to join my discord as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.